Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in trouble well um, I did a video last week where I messed around with this Synology box and changed out a disk in the big Synology box to move a 4 terabyte drive up here because I had a defective drive here um, that worked out somewhat okay I replaced the drive and I actually also took that 3 terabyte drive with me home that had failed and when I popped it in a, a docking station thingy I was actually able to copy data to it so I filled that broken disk up with the backup data and put it in my safe so maybe if I if everything burns maybe that will save me someday um, save me <laughs> the drive was not totally totally dead it was actually able to store three terabytes of data and be put away but I wouldn't trust that drive to run 24 7 but I will trust it enough to maybe there is a good copy on there if I need it I was actually also able to transfer data to it really quick I saw transfer speeds up to 165 megabytes per second which is not bad for a single drive uh, old drive which has come out bad but maybe you can hear it the Synology box down here which is the Synology disk station DS411J is beeping again and um, that's a problem let's um, I would like to show you what's going on because it's kind of irritating here is the box and it's blinking uh, you can see the orange status LED is uh, blinking but all the hot drives over there says okay they are blinking green so what is going on here why is it complaining we'll have to go and see the computer here we are at the computer and it has popped up there is a control panel here and I can kill the beep if I don't want to listen to that so we'll hide that I'll actually kill that beep that's irritating beep off okay thank you and minimize that and back here it says attention one or more volume disk groups iSCSI LONS SSD cache we recommend replacing failed drives with healthy ones and um, yeah that's a really good idea uh, normally we will just pop in here actually just check the disk group and there would be a defective drive down here there are no such thing it tells us up here that uh, there is a defective drive and we have to replace something with at least three that's just about three terabytes of data so um, the good thing is that it definitely rules out some of the drives because some of them are four terabytes but this number four that I replaced last weekend well it could be that one because I haven't extended the disk partition here or the disk group so um, I could extend the disk group and get about 10 terabytes out of this but I haven't done that yet so my thought is that uh, when it asks for this either this drive which is a 3 terabyte has failed or this drive which actually is a 4 terabyte has failed but it recognizes this one as a 3 terabyte yet uh, but there is no bloody way of knowing when it doesn't tell me that I have been googling this and um, well Google is not very helpful with this situation so if we go down to the hard drives themselves um, this one is the mysterious one that I think has and everything looks just normal if we go up and check the other one the other three terabytes it looks just as normal this is really irritating right uh, log files Please just say which drive died. It just tells me that I popped out drive number four. And you can see the date of these. This is old. It, it failed on the 29th of May. I replaced it the 2nd of June. And that was last weekend. Today's date is, I think it's the 16th. Yeah, it's the 16th of June. So there is no lock entry about that it just the lock stops here but my best estimate is that this number four drive down here which we replaced well it hasn't done a good job 
it has failed integration with the rest of the system and even though it says it's green and normal well it didn't work right if we go over to this group uh, normally we would be able to manage this failure if it sees a suitable drive there so my best guess is that I can take out drive number four here and maybe do a format thing to it again and try again but yeah there is nine terabytes of data isn't there let's see overview there are 7.3 terabytes of data so I have cheated I have played it safe I have a library here and I've copied all my data to to this drive this one is by far the biggest all my raw footage from uh, my playhouse videos oh you can just about see that in a second or two how much i think it's six terabytes 6.8 terabytes so there is um 500 gigabytes of something else um so i have made a copy of the entire nas and i'm just lucky that i have that option i'm gonna put myself on the edge and I'm gonna be removing drive number four again taking that out if the NAS server is still working when I take out drive number four I was right if it crashes when I take out drive number four well then the other drive was the problem and I will have to rebuild it and copy the data in again <sighs> yeah so that's what we're gonna do. I have told it to uh, shut down. That's probably just gonna take a little bit. It um, often has a lot of stuff to do when it's told to shut down. It's shut down. So let's turn it around and take out drive number four again. Uh, unplug power, remove screws. power on and we'll let it boot and if it boots we'll go and delete this again and we'll try this once more there should be nothing wrong with this drive uh, it has been working perfectly in the other NAS box so yeah okay um, I turn it on again I don't know if I filmed that uh, so let's see if I'm lucky here this one is the same it's complaining the storage manager over here hasn't started correctly so oh that might just take a bit to wait for but I don't think I have to wait for the storage manager because over here in the notifications I can see that well I tried to turn this thing on and off 23 hours ago and I just did that again 17 minutes ago when I started the video so um, here it says that the disk group is degraded we are on three out of four drives so apparently the disk group still works that's my good hope so i'm gonna take that drive number four and we're gonna be trying to format that again and wipe it and make sure that there is nothing on it okay i have mounted the four terabyte hitachi drive here on the table and we're gonna go in and delete all the partitions uh, and the drive and stuff and I was suggested that it would be so much faster if I just used this part and just deleted the partitions that way. So, well, we're gonna try that. I have my doubts that there will be very much time saved. So, um, let's start a prompt. CMD, command prompt there, and we'll go into disk part. Disk part there. Oh, and it pops up and uh, are you sure? Yes. Okay, so now it starts this part up in another prompt. Oh, that is convenient. So in here we can list drive or is it disk? List disk. Yeah, we have the different disks. So we have to select disk number two. I uh, wonder if I can S disk to nope I have to select okay select disk 2 so that is now selected well let's let's try help 
help their clean. That will clean the configuration information or all information off the disk. So we're gonna do that. Clean. Disk part successfully cleaning disk. Okay. Hope I cleaned the right disk. List. List partition. Partition. There are no partitions on this disk. Okay. Uh, that's kind of okay. So the disk should be pretty empty. So that's probably a good thing. So, but to be sure, let's just right click on the start menu, select disk manager. And it pops up that this two um, must it has to be initialized. So uh, that's probably a good thing. And down here it is. And we can initialize the disk. And we don't need to do that. Let's have the Synology box check the, all of that. Last time I think I formatted the disk. Uh, this time we'll try it a little bit different and just have the box do everything. Um, see if that makes any difference. Okay, so back out here. Let's turn this off again. See if it will turn off or if it's too busy doing all that stuff. Well, it looks like it want to turn off, so I might be okay. So it will turn off. That might just take a little bit, so we don't want to wait for that. Someone asked if it was possible to put in more RAM in this thing. Uh, unfortunately, it is not. This is a rather old box. It uh, comes with a one core processor, which is 1.2 gigahertz something and 128 megabytes of RAM. So um, yeah, I am on a lookout for a new box. I have um, started it up again and it has been a little bit this box is extremely slow at uh, booting so I have to give it a little bit and I'll start by turning off the beeping because that apply that close that and I still have the same 7.3 terabytes of data awesome let's see we now have spaces degraded Please go to this group tab to blah, 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 blah. So now we can put in another disc, hopefully. Um, and try this again. Happily, it was drive number four that was, well, it has messed up for us. So let's go here. We can see that we have disc one, two, three in that disc info here. Let's go, do we have? Yeah, it does see the hard drive. It's not initialized, but it's normal. So let's go to the disk group, over here it tells us exactly the same thing, but now we can do something about it. Now this manage button here is not um, grayed out, so we can manage and it um, we can repair. So let's go do that and it suggests drive number four again. So let's pick that one and as we have just deleted it we are okay with it deleting it again. Um, it takes a while to, um, to synchronize the data on this storage box. So the fact that it destroyed or it didn't work the first time means that I have to do all of this again, which is a drag. But uh, I guess there is no way around it. So, okay. And this will take a little bit. It uh, tells me that well, I will have a total of 9.99 terabytes available storage. That's probably close to a... So that's cool. Let's apply. And it's going to be doing stuff. This saving process always takes a bit. So uh, let's let's cut in when it's... Oh, let's let's continue then. See if it does anything interesting. It's loading. I see, often I see this NAS box in this process messing up. And I think that I might have 
messed up this installation by trying to do this twice and that might be why it messed up last time i did this and then it seemed like the box had just died and i thought okay so i closed the window i uh, got that closed and i tried it again created the partition and it failed and then i booted the box and then it was actually doing the expansion or re replacement repair of the disc and so maybe that was what i did wrong but well yeah let's i'll give it some more time this time okay uh what um something is wrong whatever this little box is telling me and what is what's going on with my computer here okay um, but i guess we have to press okay to this guy okay mm -hmm. so are we able to go in again maybe let's see it's probably just gonna be loading forever um we'll get back if it uh, if it actually comes in okay i have lost access to my nas box here i'm trying to get into the web page there and um, i have been trying more than just a little bit but if i do a prompt here and ping it it does reply to ping but the web interface is uh, not replying also if i try to access the files that doesn't work either so um no web interface, no files, it replies to ping. Uh, that's not very helpful, is it? I think we have to go and reboot that box. I have kind of seen this before, that when I start the, um, the repair of the disk, it will freeze. Right now it's doing something, but over here it's doing nothing. And I'll bet you that if I press the button, it's not gonna even try to shut down on me. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not even gonna try. So I think I have to cut the power to it, which is really irritating because I'm not supposed to do that. Power has been cut. There. Irritating. Reboot did help uh, this box. So right now we can see that well, it's still working. It has actually reached 29% of the resynchronization. Uh, that's because it's the next day. Uh, this has been running overnight. So I'm not going to be able to see if this works this weekend either. It's Sunday today it's not gonna reach a hundred percent before i have to leave here so that's kind of irritating uh, would like to see it go to 65. there we are cool um so yeah this takes a while and um, i won't know if it's working before we get there Maybe I'll know when when this video is uh, when I edit this video I can maybe See if it worked. Yeah, so this is a bit of double work I did this last weekend and it failed So I'm trying it again and it takes like a couple of days at least to uh, to see if there is any success So I'm crossing my fingers um, And sometimes you just have to do that. I did do a backup of the entire thing uh, which is awesome. It's very reassuring to have another copy of all the data on there. So if something bad happens, I, I can just and uh, copy the data back in. What do I need to say? Yeah, join me over at Twitter. I still need more Twitter followers. Go, 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 go. That would be awesome. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.